We've all had a teacher that's changed our lives, like Quinta Brunson in Abbott Elementary. Yeah, and we've all had a codependent, borderline, homoerotic relationship with our boss, like Hannah Einbinder in Hacks. No. Uh, what? It's an incredible honor that we're actually, you know, up on stage doing the hosting for this kind of major event in, in television. But if it goes well tonight, my name is pronounced Levy, not Levy. <laughs> and if things go south, my name is pronounced Martin Short. Dan and Eugene Levy making history and plenty of jokes at the 2024 Emmy Awards. In what can only be described as a cruel joke, two Canadians have been put in charge of playing you off tonight. Confrontation in general is anxiety inducing, especially for my 77 year old father, okay? I don't like it. The man is frailer than he looks. He gets palpitations from time to time. I'm hearing about tendonitis. Okay. Because we're the faces of the people that play you off. And look at our faces. We'll cut, it. we'll cut them off faster than they can say it. Exactly. Thank you. That's it. Next. The ceremony's first ever father-son MCs not disappointing on stage Sunday. The two even sharing their texts ahead of showtime. Let's host Emmys. Colin Farrell will be there. You still have crush? <laughs> and this last one. Best ramen near me. Okay, I think that was just a mistake. I think you were just Googling something. I was hungry. All right. And I'm still hungry. But maybe Dan's biggest job, just keeping tabs on Dad's whereabouts. No, that's stage right. They said house right. I didn't want to do this. We shouldn't be out here, Daniel. Our next TV archetypes are the characters you love to hate. Dad? I can't see the problem okay. from here. They probably have been doing this sort of thing at their home, you know, for as, as long as uh, uh, Dan's been on this planet. Well, they said the shining star of Schitt's Creek was going to present the final award. So, Annie, we're actually here to present that person, which... Which isn't, isn't me. You. Which it's isn't me. Nope. Which is not, not me. No. That I knew. <laughs> of course. So. The Schitt's Creek stars and past Best Comedy Performance winners also weighed in on the Bears' category controversy. I know some of you might be expecting us to make a joke about whether the bear is really a comedy. But in the true spirit of the bear, we will not be making any jokes. All in all, this family affair kept their best laughs, well, all in the family. TV dads are obviously important for me. Coach Taylor, for example, from Friday Night Lights really gave me some, yeah. Any other dads? And look, I'm not fishing for compliments here. No, just, I mean, I, just I think asking. Tony Soprano is a great example. Tony Soprano. <laughs> Tony Soprano killed people. What do you... Well, his heart was in the right place. Okay.